Hi folks, uh, so this is the fantasy compo uh, part of the video I posted yesterday on sci-fi buildings. Now I'm just going to talk a little bit about um, what I do with fantasy terrain. Now, I use tinfoil extensively. Uh, I use it for rock work, I use it to sculpture, and uh, well, I love using this stuff. It's just so pliable. Uh, all of these, all of this texture is, is excellent when you're dry brush, br brushing. So I made this little gatehouse and I'm probably going to have like a little raised platform here where I put a couple of statues, right? Um, and this is unpainted yet, but I add some, I use a lot of hot glue for this kind of stuff. I have to add the platforms here and the platforms will allow me to put, you know, something like a catapult if I want to, or a ballista. Uh, there's platform here for models to move through, if I have archers or whatever. And I need to put on the battlements, right? Uh, and this is like a, a gatehouse to a castle. So uh, this is what I have so far. And the wood helps reinforce the tinfoil a little bit. Uh, some of it covers some of the tinfoil seams. There is a soft foam under there, and these are breadcrumb canisters that I used for the towers okay so I have to do the other side with some wood and uh, the gatehouse is going to remain open uh, this way figures can go through um, this will be maybe the entrance way to a ruined castle or something okay but uh, it's very easy to build and then once you paint it you give it all of the the uh, uh, cat the, the grayish paint right uh, it's going to look pretty good. Uh, I'll show it once it's all painted. And this is just my style. Everybody has their own style, every gamer. You know, some people might not like this idea, but hey, everyone has, uh, you know, their own techniques for their tables. One thing I do is I take, uh, I can take my glue gun and make blotches of hot glue, irregular blotches, and that'll give it a little bit of a stone texture if I want to. We'll see. Um, but the other thing I do, of course, is I work extensively with foam as well. And this is that soft foam, right? And a lot of people don't like this foam. And I can see why. It's very difficult to score into it, right, to carve it. But I make it work. And I usually put a layer of Mod Podge on it to protect it. And this is the cardboard, the stuff that I use to make sci-fi buildings, that packaging material, right? It comes in small appliances, and so it gives some very interesting structure to the building, right? So this is one of the old buildings, one of the medieval buildings, like a temple building that I'm using in uh, Frostgrave. Okay, so that's foam, and I, I have several pieces that I made, right? And this is all that soft insulation foam. This is not the pink foam that most people use. In their terrain I make it work because this is all I have um, I have tons of this stuff so I want to recycle it now the other thing I do is uh, cardboard buildings and this is all cardboard and then what I do is I take uh, a little bit of uh, clean kitty litter right not from the cat box but clean kitty litter mix it with some craft sand and um, I use it to get these edges of the cardboard to cover up those edges of the cardboard. And it gives the building a very ruined, very uh, like rubbly look, right? And these are very easy to make. I've made a lot of these. You can make them in different shapes. And that's certainly good for like city terrain. Here's a large elemental like thing, statue that I'm going to decorate and then put on in the middle of the courtyard. This is all tin foil. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much the end of the fantasy component. I will be working on my tin foil castle there and I also make wall sections using the same techniques. And I'll show it once it's all painted up and you know fixed up. So all right, folks, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Uh, have a great day. This is MJ Wargaming Creations, signing off for now.